Hello, friends, Romans, and also countrymen, and welcome to Splice, a game with my name. Uh, this is a game brought to you by Cypher Prime, that is the studio name. They have brought you such games as Pulse, Fractal, and Auditorium. Uh, Auditorium was quite a popular one. Now, this is a game that is available on Steam for $10. It is a uh, puzzle game, and as you can see, a gorgeous puzzle game. Um, it is available on both Mac and PC, uh, as I said on Steam, and I'm just going to start with the visuals. The dynamic menus that you have here, as you can see where I move my mouse actually changes what the menu looks like or what angle we're seeing the menu from. It just, this, this got me initially when I started playing the game because I really, really appreciate when a game takes a really unique unique look at uh, the the way it displays its menus because so many menus are just you know text text and you click um, but this has a lot more intrigue to it and as you can see the menus are behind you so it, it feels like everything's floating around in a in a space um, and you can see all of everything that has you've done uh, behind you and as you can see the menus also have depth which is very, very nice. That's uh, something you also don't see very much. So the gameplay. Um, I don't know if you could tell from the first one, but uh, there, those outlined white uh, ovals represent where the uh, genes need to go, and those silhouetted things represent where they can go, and the black things are the genes. And you basically need to match the pattern uh, that is provided by dragging genes and their connected genes on into the shape. Now here I was testing to see what happened if I went over the par, um, which is uh, connected to that base gene there. And evidently you cannot uh, complete the level if you go above the par. Now this falls into kind of one of two categories of puzzle games. There are action puzzle games where you need to complete some sort of task, but it's a physical task like, you know, jumping over a large gap uh, with using some sort of propulsion method, 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 method um, or something like that. There's, there's physical puzzles and then there's more thought puzzles, and this is one of those. So if you're into the kind of puzzles that you can sit around and sort of casually play with and not have to um, not have to work too hard to uh, to accomplish this is definitely where you want to go but this does get pretty complex as far as um, thinking ahead and figuring out how you're going to need to take apart these genes to make sure that they fit um, so it is a very th thinky puzzle game there's a, lo a lot of thought that goes into into playing it uh, in the more complex levels. And as I said, you can pick this up on Steam. It is $10, um, and if you don't want to actually buy it uh, at first, you just want to try it out, there is a demo uh, on Steam for free. And it is definitely worth a pickup, I would say. It's a very casual game. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say I don't know if I would say it's worth ten dollars to me it's it's a great casual puzzle game it's a lot of fun it's it's very unique but granted i have not played much farther into the game than you'll see in this video but i feel that unless it gets significantly more complex and adds more gameplay mechanics. I don't know if I would say it's worth $10, but I would say it's definitely worth at least getting the demo and checking out what this game is about, because I think it's a lot of fun, and if you like uh, puzzle games and are into puzzle games, definitely worth the pickup um, to some extent or another. And as you can see here, I actually was having a little bit of trouble, and I'm sure you guys are screaming at me in the, in the comments or whatever, being like, yeah, you're doing wrong, you're doing wrong, but yeah. Um, it, it's definitely worth picking up, and I didn't mention at the beginning of this video, but I will now. This is one of the PAX 10, which is one of 10 games that were selected 
to be at PAX that were completely paid for by the Penny Arcade guys and PAX. And they have a booth there, and we will definitely be checking this out at PAX. So anyway guys, thank you for watching, and keep on splicing.